Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Dominic. I'm the host of the Android Factory. I know it's been a little while and I apologize for that, but today's video is going to be pretty fun. So hopefully you can learn something. Recently, I put out this poll on the channel here where over 90% of the people who responded are really not using AI the way that you can be or the way that you should be in you know, halfway through the year here in 2025. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite tools that is out there right now for Android development. It's something called AMP. Honestly, let's just jump right in. So here in Android Studio, we have a brand new project, really not too much going on here other than a text component. And you'll notice here that I also have my terminal open and you'll see why in a little bit here. So as I mentioned, we are going to be using this tool called AMP. I'll have a link to all of this in the description, anything that you should see on uh, you know, Google. Um, but this is kind of the landing page. If you want to take a look at it, you know, read through it, everything is fine. Uh, but you can go ahead and up here in the top right, sign in or sign up. I have already created an account with my Google account, so I'm just going to click sign in here. Uh, I guess it already registered that I was signed in or you know, my Google account is signed in. And so we already get this kind of uh, you know, portal that we see inside of here. So as we click around here, there's a couple different things. You can see the threads that you've had with the agent before. You can go ahead and look at your teams if you're a part of them. But more importantly here on like kind of the settings page, you'll see all the information about yourself. You'll see your personal stats, and then you'll see this area down here, which talks about billing. Something I just want to bring up real quick, this tool, unlike ChatGPT, is not free. When you sign up and create an account for the first time, they do give you $10 free to use to kind of experiment with the tool. But basically, when you do use this tool, when you do ask it to do things for you, when you're interacting with the agent, that costs money. Of course it does. So, you know, everything that you do, everything that it does for you, they deduct from it. Doesn't seem terribly expensive right now, but you know, if you're gonna try to vibe code an entire project, it's not gonna just happen for, you know, $5, let's say. But the good news is here, I'm gonna show you how to use this tool. I'm gonna use it as much as I can on this channel that makes sense. Um, so you can kind of get a glimpse of how this tool works without needing to put any money out of your pocket. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe to see all the upcoming videos because I'm going to dive into some of this stuff uh, pretty heavily because it's a lot of fun. The only other thing I want to mention on the billing topic is it kind of works like a prepaid credit card. So as you, you know, run through your money, it kind of just stops operating. You're not going to get into an infinite loop somehow and then accidentally charge, you know, $50,000 to your credit card. Um, that just won't happen, right? The, the agent will just stop working after a little bit. The installation instructions are pretty straightforward. If you use, you know, VS Code or some other editors and such, you know, they have a little bit nicer configuration, but, um, you know, you can always default to the CLI, command line interface. That is what I'm using here. I'm on Windows. Uh, even on Mac for work, use this tool as well. And it, you know, operates basically the exact same way. Um, so command line is kind of the way to go. It's literally as simple as just running this one command. Uh, NPM here, if you don't know about it, is Node Package Manager. So again, the link for this will be in the description, but just come down to Node, you know, install Node onto your machine for the latest version, whatever operating system that you have. Uh, and then you're going to be able to run NPM, Node Package Manager, and that will go ahead and install AMP onto your device. Interacting with the tool is literally as simple as running AMP. You will then kind of get into an interactive mode with the agent where you can ask it a whole bunch of things. And, you know, that is probably the bulk of where the video is going to go. Um, the only other thing I wanted to mention here is that we do have what they call the owner's manual. It's basically their source of documentation on the tool. Um, it might be worth reading, especially if you're not too familiar with AI agents and whatnot. Um, it's pretty well done. You know, you can kind of get some instructions again and then really kind of they take you from zero to hero on how to actually use these things because they are pretty powerful. So let's bounce over here to Android Studio and actually kind of, uh, you know, start using this tool to actually see what this thing can do. Now, normally you're going to just run AMP here to kind of get into an interactive mode. This may crap out inside of Android Studio. You just have to run AMP no JetBrains. I've seen this error sometimes. I've not seen this error sometimes. It's kind of weird. Um, however, I need to do something a little different here just because uh, I've already signed in. Um, so instead of running that for just one second, I need to run AMP um, login because I wanna show you the login flow. So it tells me here I already have an API key because again, I've already been logged in, but I want to log in again and rotate those keys for you. Um, so now basically what I'm trying to say is when you run AMP for the first time, you're gonna run into something that looks like this where you actually need to kind of, you know, authenticate your um, CLI session with your user or with your account that you just created before. Um, so 
uh, you should probably click this little box here, generate new API key, and then you just literally click link CLI. Now your CLI has been logged into that account that you have here, um, and you can close that window and you can come back to your terminal here. So I can now use uh, this again, which is good. I'm gonna run the you know, JetBrains kind of command here or flag, and then we should be running inside of our um, you know, agent with the interactive mode. Real quick, I'm not gonna talk about this too much in this video here, but just know that there are things like markdown files that you can use to provide context to your AI agent. In a simple side project that is literally file a new project, there is basically no value to it <laughs> because it can get context very quickly. But if you are running inside of a production app, if you're running inside of a larger project or as your personal project grows, you might wanna look into giving it the right context of what it should do, how it should do it, or more importantly, what it shouldn't do for you, right? And all that is done inside of Markdown files. We will dive into that in a future video. So, you know, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing that. But um, for right now, you know, I'm not gonna clutter this video with it. So I'm just gonna click no, and then we are inside of the interactive mode here. You can see that little carrot, and then you can just start interacting with the thing. So I'm going to ask it really quickly here, um, if it can summarize this project for me. And you'll see here that this model is actually thinking, you can see all of the stuff that it's actually doing here. Perfect. And so after it got all of this context, it read so much stuff here. Uh, it then streams out a response to us here. So it's, a, it's a, an app called AI, AI Demo, Colin Jetpack Compose. It's a simple Hello World style apps blah, 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 material three, right? There's really not much to talk about because it's literally a, a brand new project, but there you go. You are immediately interacting with an AI agent. Congratulations, you're now a vibe coder. Yeah, the one of the things I wanna talk about here is, um, so if you remember, remember before, I believe that was 16 cents used and now that, that cost, you know, an extra nine cents to generate that response. So, you know, <laughs> interesting right uh, but the other the other nice thing here inside of the you know uh, website UI is you can see all of your conversations here so you can actually see here this thing that we just asked it can you summarize this project and then you can see everything that it did here all of its thinking all of its exploring um, and and then it actually gave us the same response here right so you can kind of interact with it if you really want to the fun part about this if you have teams set up um, you know, you're working on a project with a bunch of people, you can actually then share the threads with one another and they got access to it, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of fun, um, but that's not nearly as fun as what is about to happen next. So I didn't want to make this video to scare anybody and whatnot. I think it's a little hyperbolic to go, oh, you know, AI is going to replace everything. AI is going to replace a bunch of stuff and give it, you know, two, three, five, ten years. It's going to replace a lot more than what we think. But for today, for right now, um, it's not necessarily going to replace you, but what I will say is it is something you can no longer ignore. If you've been putting it off, you got to stop. This is some very cool stuff that at the end of the day is actually pretty powerful. Okay, and here is an example as to why you can no longer ignore this kind of stuff. So I moved my terminal window over here because it might be easier for you to read, and I went ahead and put this prompt in. So can you create a composable that is a row with two buttons in it, a text component in the middle, the button should increment or decrement a counter value and the text component should display that value and react to changes. That's it, right? Just plain text right into this thing. People are probably familiar with this. You can kind of ask ChatGPT to do this as well. But now this tool is going to go ahead, think about the, the ask, look at our project and actually make changes to our activity, to our composables, and allow us to consume those changes. In the window over here that's kind of flying, you can see it doing things, you can see it making edits. Again, this is why the command line tool is maybe a little not the best for people because it's just, you know, not the greatest thing to read at times, but you could see it adding in some imports. The red is that it's gonna remove things, green is adding things, and then here we can see that it is creating a composable for us. Um, so we went ahead here, created a counter row, two buttons, plus and minus, display text in the middle, the counter state is managed with remember immutable state int of, so the text updates reactively when buttons are clicked, the row uses proper spacing and alignment for a clean layout. I go over here and just kind of refocus the main activity and look at this, we have our counter row here, we have a composable, now don't get me wrong, this is kind of a simple example, but like, 
God damn, this thing just did it in a matter of seconds. So I haven't changed anything here. I haven't touched anything. You've kind of seen everything that's happened. I'm simply just going to run the app again, and we're going to see if this works out. So the app is coming back up to speed here. We have uh, something that looks like a counter, and you know, I mean, like, yeah, yeah, sounds good, right? It just works. Yep, yep. Uh, okay, yeah, so that is basically how you can kind of integrate AMP into your work cycle. Uh, it's pretty crazy, it's pretty simple, and if we go ahead and take a look at our uh, usage here, we're down to 31 cents. So what was that? Another six cents from 25. So, you know, listen, this isn't necessarily groundbreaking work and whatnot. And in future videos, I'm going to show you way more complicated things that this thing can do way more advanced things. And it's probably going to cost more than six cents, but this pumped this out just as fast, if not faster than how you could have done it for six cents. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is not necessarily the end of everybody's jobs. Please don't think that, but this stuff is pretty cool. I'm gonna continue showing it to you. I'm gonna show you some more advanced concepts in future videos. We're gonna see some very interesting things that can turn your imagination and your thoughts and, and your ideas potentially into a little bit more of a reality. So uh, thank you so much for following along here. If you made it this far in the video, I'd really appreciate a like. Subscribe if you are brand new, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks.